going along family, Noah from Kicking Their Ass TV, here with another video and this is something a little different, um, just a little slight change and this is the Mystery Tackle Box Pro for the month of October. I know you guys are saying man, what is going on with the Mystery Tackle Box, why is that thing black, what is this, Mystery Tackle Box Pro, what is that? Guys, this is something different, new to Mystery Tackle Box, Mystery Tackle Box Pro. And before I even start off this video, I would like to say a big special thanks to Mystery Tackle Box. I'm on their team now, and um, they sent me a hat, sent me a, a pretty cool shirt, and um, I'll definitely be repping that on the water. But this big special thanks to Mystery Tackle Box, so definitely go check them out. I'll leave their site below. I know you guys see me on boxes all the time, but just wanted to throw that out there, their site link to be below. Um, but go ahead and jump in. What is the Mystery Tackle Box Pro? Well, as you can tell, it's a little bit different. I mean, you're, you're like, wow, that box is a little bit bigger. Man, that thing is black. A little different appearance, right? Um, Mystery Tackle Box Pro. Instead of the sample packs that you would get in the normal Mystery Tackle Box, they're going to be full packs in this one. And then the baits, the value of them are going to be a lot more. The bit, there's going to be more base in the box, you're going to get your money's worth, you're going to get more money's worth out of the box, you're going to pay 10 more dollars for this box, but then you're considered a pro. Totally kidding, but it's a mystery tackle box pro, you know, you're, you're getting your money's worth, you're getting more money out of it. So let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing, guys. Um, big special thanks to all you guys that are supporting me with all the videos, um, as you guys know. Did put out a pond vlog. Definitely go check that out. That was posted the last Tuesday. Um, definitely go check that out. I'm sure I'll have the link down below or you can just go on my page. It's a vlog number 31. We're getting up there. And um, let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing. So go ahead and start off the first bait. And by seeing this man, I'm just thinking, well, first off, since some fancy plastic right now, I'm just like, yeah. But honestly, I would definitely throw this right here. This is a six cents lipless crankbait. This is pretty much just a rattle trap. And as you guys know, when I, when I fish rattle traps, I know I've talked about it before. I mostly fish like red rattle traps. And um, this is just like a reddish, has a little bit of white to it, rattle trap, and it looks like a crawfish. And I would definitely be fishing this. Where would I fish this? I would fish this in shallow water. Um, some people may fish them out deep. I personally fish them in shallow water. I'll fish them up on the banks, fish them on rip wrap. That's a great idea. Um, I know there's different ways to fish rattle traps that I should definitely go into. I just don't fish them enough um, for me to pretty much go out like on the near. I wouldn't fish on the near. So I'm saying like if I was on a different lake and I would definitely show a tutorial on different ways to fish a rattle trap because there's tons of effective ways. There's ways called like yo yoing it. Um, you can fish this over like grass, like, like grass is pretty much two or three foot below the water, you can reel it above the grass, imitate those shad, um, you can yo-yo it through the grass, just pretty much when you lift your rod, the bait goes up, and then it flutters down, um, it triggers the bass to bite it, um, tons of, tons of neat ways that you can fish a rattle trap, definitely will be fishing this, and if I do an MTV slam, I don't know how I'll do this, since I have the pro and the regular box, I don't know how, um, I'm going to do this, I do have a tournament coming up this weekend, um, which is going to be Saturday, Sunday, and that is, today is the 15th, so, 16, something, 17th and 18th is my tournament. Um, so, I will be trying to do a slam sometime, and then be at a pond, obviously. Um, but going on to the second bait in the box, this is the Clacking Crayfish, and uh, this thing is pretty neat. Um, definitely something different that I have not seen, and this one's just brown and orange, that's pretty much what they call it, straight brown, brown and orange. Um, definitely something different, just like a straight crawfish, and it really, it really does look like a crawfish, um, definitely guys, but my personal opinion is, I mean, similar to a jig, you know, if you want to fish a jig, you can fish a jig, but if you want something that has a little bit more, you know, live like to it, definitely go for this. Um, I've never fished anything like this, this would be something definitely that I will actually have to try out, and I would, um, be interested in, um, definitely try, especially in those ponds, who knows, they might smash it. Definitely something different um, I could try out. Moving on to the third bait. This is a Strike King spinnerbait, guys. I really love Strike King spinnerbaits. Um, uh, they're really cost efficient and they just work really great. I, I really love their spinnerbaits. I don't have really many problems with them. Um, they're pretty fair priced and they work great. And this is a Colorado blade and it's a gold blade. It's red. Um, this one right here, if it was a little bit heavier, um, heck, you can probably even use this. I would definitely use this in nighttime fishing. Um, if I had a bigger Colorado blade on it, it would be 
great for nighttime fishing as well. Um, but standard old spinnerbait, I actually like their plain white ones. Phenomenal as well, just with the regular willow leaf blade. Um, but this box really excited me when I when I found this out. Um, these are right here. I honestly want to use them at this. I'm filming this on Thursday, guys. I'm pretty sure you guys are watching this Sunday. Um, this upcoming weekend state tournament. And these are some little drop shot fishtails right here. And, and when I saw these, I was like, wow, it looks pretty great. Um, and then when I noticed the color, I was like, man, that's, that's one of my favorite colors. I like the drop shot. And, and then when I was looking further in the box, I found some drop shot hooks. And these hooks are actually really similar to the ones I use. So honestly, I think I'm going to go ahead and use these this weekend on my tournament. I already tied my drop shots on back there. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using these this weekend. I want to go throw them in the boat, um, have some extra hooks. Uh, but these are by Skinny Bear Bass Jigs. And these are just the drop shot hooks. And these are the extra wide gap. And these are just really small, guys. Um, when you're fishing drop shot, I'm not going to go too deep into it. Um, but I seem to get more bites than smaller hook. And that's all I'm going to say right there. I have tons of videos on drop shot. Um, but this little, little fish-like bait right here is kind of pinkish, red, orangish. Um, which I'll really like the pink, especially on the near. Um, that'd be a great bait to drop shot, especially with that hook. It just kind of pairs up perfectly. I'm, uh, I love drop shot, as you guys know. Um, so, I mean, that would be great. This is a zero gravity jig. And um, it's pretty much like a jig. It looks like it skipped really well, in my opinion. Honestly, it, it looks like it would be really heavy, but it's honestly super light. That, that is a super light jig. Um, it's honestly, it's, it's a company I've never seen before, and this is pretty much white, has a little bit of blue, and it kind of looked like a little bait fish going to water. You can swim that, man. You can swim that perfectly. Um, and just a standard old jig, guys. The weed guard looks pretty great. White head has a little bit of blue to it, um, some black dots in it as well. Um, but that's everything in this month's box, and as you guys know, I have the Dibble Handbook. You've got the sticker, and you got the scratch off card. Um, but here is the sheet that they give you which tells you all the prices of the lures. So let's go ahead and start off with that clacking crawfish. This one right here, guys, um, the clacking crawfish. And this is a good solid $13.64. So you're, you're getting a lot of money's worth just off of this bait. I mean, think about it, guys. That's, like I said, they're gonna give you some more quality baits that are gonna be more expensive um, in this month's box, especially even more baits, you know? Um, moving on to the snack setting, that was the rattle trap that I definitely love, and that is $8.99, so that's a $9 bait just right here. Definitely a great bait. Um, if you guys don't fish many rattle traps, would highly recommend it. Moving on to the Strike King spinner bait, this is $7.99. Then the fish tails, which is those little drop shot fishies right there, they are $5.95. For the four pack right there, I would definitely um, be trying this out. I'm um, really excited actually. The zero gravity jig, the jig right here, it's five dollars and forty nine cents. And then lastly, 